Good morning to the Honorable Judges. The title of my story today is A Truly Rich Man. In ancient Japan, there was a village where the people were very poor. In this village lived two brothers named Kito and Komo. One winter, the brothers set out to seek their fortune. They walked for miles until they came to wood. There, they met an old man who asked them, <coughs> Will you cut some wood for me? Yes, certainly, they replied. After a while, they noticed a strange thing. No matter how much wood they cut, the hill wood remained the same. They looked around for the old man, but he had disappeared. Instead, they found a bag of silver each. I shall return to our village and use the silver to help the poor, said Kamo. That is not very clever. I will be richer before anyone, said Kito. So the two brothers went the separate ways. Kamo returned to his village. He gave the villagers his silver to buy food and warm clothing. The people also grieved for the Kamo. They did bow and thank him profusely. After one year, Komo found that he had no more silver, so once more he had to leave the village to see his fortune. In the meantime, Kito had become a money lender in a big town. He lent money to people, and when the Kuma repaid him, he took the precision home. He even drove them out of their homes. Thus, he became a rich man. When Kuma heard his brother had become rich, he went to see him. The poor in our village needs help, Kuma told Kito. But I want to be a truly rich man first, so that I can help them properly, replied Kito. Kito then invited Kuma to stay and work for him. Meanwhile, Kito married a rich widow and became the richest man in the town. Kito and his wife kept the money in the cellar, then went there often to count their money. Kito's wife told Komo, If you want money, you must work for it. Our kitchen hopper just left. You can take his place. So Komo worked in the kitchen. When beggars beg for food, help me please. He'll give them scraps from his brother's table. When Kito found out about this, he was very furious. Those scraps are for my dogs and not for such dirty children. He shouted at Koma and drove Koma away. One day, while Kito was counting the money in the cellar, one, two, three, four, five, <gasps> there was a sudden earthquake. Whoa! Their house collapsed on top of them and they were buried with their wealth forever. Spring came. Kamo's ticket of work one day when he met a drove. Would you mind digging a hole for me? The drove asked. Kamo did not mind, of course. He dug for a long time, but the drove kept trying him to dig deeper and deeper. The hole grew until it was that big as its own height. Only then, the drove was satisfied. The drove gave Kamo a small seed and asked him to bury it. You can harvest the fruit of the tree this summer, the drove told Komo. When summer came, Komo was surprised to find that the tree did not bear ordinary fruit, but gold coins. Komo gave away the gold coins. The more he gave away, the more gold coins appeared on the tree. Thus, he became a truly rich man. The moral value of the story is, the more you give, the more you get. Thank you.